Hi, and welcome to the Bruce Cizal YouTube Research Channel. We research real ufology. Yeah, that's right. That's, I study ufology. I get UFOs in the sky. I get them on the moon. Lucky or not, I got them, and uh, they need to be seen. So thanks if you take the time to subscribe to the channel. Hola y bienvenidos a todos, because we have Spanish people here. New Snickadas. Frank, gracias, mi amigo. Posted a video while you're looking at this directional change recently captured just a couple days ago, ladies and gents. And we're going to go see another capture, uh, directional change. So, yeah, that's pretty cool that I'm able to document more than one UFO capture. We're going to go see three directional changes in the sky. We're going to go see the fastest UFO I've ever captured, which was last summer. So these are all very recent captures. And this one here you're looking at was just a couple of days ago, uh, just at the end of June. Hey, we're already the 1st of July. Happy Canada Day. We are all slaves in our country. Have a beer today. So this is the directional change that we... Um, uh, saw yesterday and I tried to get it a bit closer tried to adjust it slow it down whatnot so uh, yeah that's enough let's go and see isn't it incredible look at it swooping down right here you can really see it turning here right there and then it just swoops down like a boomerang guess what I think he or she or it forgot to turn down its lights so if it, if they were human humans make mistakes right that's the fun part of filming humans in space we're dumb. <laughs> you know, humans make mistakes, right? Here's the most amazing capture of directional changes um, that I, I've got uh, a year or two now ago, actually. And um, it's just absolutely incredible. Look at the way we're seeing the directional change. So it's absolutely the same as the one that we just saw. And there's a lot of, you know, dust and stuff around it. I call it dust. It's noise, right? But that's because it's an infrared camera. Here, we'll convert it. We're going to lose all the junk and noise around. But check it out. You see it gets, look at the size of it while it turns and changes. It's turning. We can't see inside of the light what's happening. But it's pretty amazing. This is captured with a real infrared camera. And uh, ladies and gents, hang tight very soon. Third gen fourth gen i'm going to go get something um very professional obviously to do uh the continuation of this research because look what i found on the moon for those of you who have not seen it yet and those of you who have seen it i'm sure love seeing it twice uh, or three four times i watch it all the time it's a ufo fleet that's a stamp on my channel something that i'll never stop showing and maybe one day I'll, um, you know, the news will give it some attention, but I tend to think they're staying away from it. So we're going to look at a lot of interaction with the infrared camera right here um, in Montreal in the sky at night. The activity is back. There's, I mean, there's so much, so much activity. I wanted to get this video up. Then we're going to do a comparison with yesterday's capture, uh, the UFO spiraling around in space. It was elongated. And we're, we're going to go see that with last year's capture. Right after Bereshit hit the moon, I captured something myself hitting the moon. Stay tuned. I'm seeing flashes. Oh. There's two of them following each other, right? There's two in frame now. Oh, three. One, two crossing in the air, one down there. Wow. Look at them changing directions, going all over the sky, hiding themselves. I love it when they do that. Watch this. They can light up to warn someone that they're going by not to get hit, and then they just seem to, and this isn't something like debris. This is something that's putting its, turning its lights down. So how many objects are flying around without us seeing them? Here's the last capture at the end of the summer, last summer. Check it out, the fast UFO. Holy shit, guys. There you go. First one I've ever seen in my freaking life. Look at the speed of that. Holy shit. 
So it's really easy to rule out birds and to rule out planes. A plane's not going that fast unless it's about to crash. If a bird was going that fast in the camera, it would have to have been have been very close to me and it would be a lot larger. And obviously at night, birds don't light up. They're lit up a little bit. They're like gray at night. You can see the bats go by. I've showed you before. So this is a fast moving UFO um, that, uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's incredible. The activity is incredible. The sky is filled with the UFOs. And uh, once in a while, um, whether human error or not, we get to see them do mistakes. Do aliens do mistakes? Can I say that, my friend? Thanks for coming by. <laughs> the light. Turn out the lights. There's another one. Another object right there going up. See it? The traffic gets really heavy here. I hope you enjoy it. And we'll go back to see another capture again last summer, at the end of the summer, of another directional change. <laughs> I bet you there's more. Okay, guys. Now I'm seeing them side by side, lots of them. Three wide. One, two, three. Look at that. See that? Side by side there. There's another third one, even higher. I can't get it. I'm going to have to turn the tripod around. I want to see these two, where they're going. I can literally see them in the sky as I'm watching them. Hmm. Another one trailing behind, guys. Right there. So that one is following these two right there, which is, watch this. I can still track both of them. One, no, hold on, sorry. We got one there and, oh, two more guys. Someone's watching the satellites. Oh yeah, for sure. There's more coming from the left. Bet you we need another one. Yep, lots more. And side by side, they intrigue me. Watch this. One there. And one there. <laughs> That's not it. That's not everything, though. Always a new finding. Now, here's something extremely cool. Again, we're going to see three events in a couple of seconds. Watch this. This one goes out. That one comes in. And watch the flash underneath this object right there. Pretty cool, eh? Sometimes it's not much, and you have to slow it down when you slow it down and zoom up and look at um, the events really closely. We find other um, other details of what goes on. Watch the flash under here, and we'll get in a lot closer. There it is, and we'll slow it down. So those are flashes that are appearing um, out in space, whether it be meteoroids, meteorite, and meteor, not meteorites because it didn't hit Earth, meteoroids, and look at it. You see it like um, a swivel and you even see where it's turning. It's like a, an edge. So you're seeing a curve, curvature in that line of light as it goes by. It's nothing else but something that went off course. So it could be a UFO taking off. Like I said, human error, right? Human error, okay? If there are humans, uh, this is just a theory, driving UFOs as you watch this other directional change face to face. Oop, whoa. How close do you think that UFO was? So again, it veered around it and then continued its path. Watch this. It's going right towards it and then it veers around not to hit it. Literally veers right and then goes back be up behind it and then goes back on its course and veers off back towards the right as you see it very slowly going by. All this 365 days to wait for that, 370 days to wait for a capture like that, right? It, it, it's not something 
uh, that you see every day. But if I had beautiful nights every day, I probably would see them. But, uh, you know, very cool captures. Here's uh, one going by. Um, you know, they're very interesting. They really are intriguing. And they're never doing the same thing. And you have um, flashes of light. And the way they flash, you know, whether they're giving messages to me or other people or driving up there, uh, you can't help but wonder who they are, what they are, uh, you know, humans, aliens. Check this out, my friends. An amazing capture, okay? You know, it's like a rope turning around there. And I think I showed it to you with um, um, uh, another moment that I caught it. But look at it, the way it's rolling around. Let's get a, a, a close-up on it and slow it down. So check this out. It's something that's coming undone there. And you'll see all the, the lines moving around and there's something that's coming undone inside of that light that's going by. Whoa, whether it be debris or not. So, you know, we're capturing UFOs. We're capturing things like debris. And, and again, that could be a UFO, folks. We don't know, right? They have different types of propulsion. They have different uh, sightings and captures. The Pentagon itself is saying it. Let's see it converted. Watch the rope-like object. See that? It's elongated. Some type of giant tarp, maybe? Maybe it's the Black Knight that's losing control. This is in space. It's not on the moon. That's the coolest part. This is going by over my head and over your head too. Look at that. Okay, yeah, that was really awesome. Let's slow it down here and check that out as it goes by. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Ernest Johnson, Crawlface, and to all anonymous contributors, and to all of you that are here, thank you so much for the ongoing support. Ghost video coming up on my Patreon, and for my, for my members, a secret video. Thanks, everyone. Soon. This is just coming soon.